thank you for this time. I just thank you for this opportunity to give my testimony, Father. And I just pray through this testimony, Father, somebody gets touched, Father, and that the chains of addiction would be broken. And I thank you for that and give you all the glory in Jesus' name. So I was not raised in a Christian home. My parents got divorced when I was one years old. My dad was a functioning alcoholic, and my mom was a huge pot smoker. She smoked pot all the time, every day, all the time. She also did other drugs and went parties at the house on the weekends and stuff like that. So that was my upbringing. So when I was 15 years old, I started drinking, smoking, and selling weed. By the time I was 20, I was a large-scale drug dealer, drug dealer, living a very dangerous lifestyle. That is when I got into the heavier drugs like pills and cocaine. And at the age of 25 to 30 is when I started smoking methamphetamine, shabu. And, and, and through all that, I was arrested many times in car accidents, physical fights, and been robbed and almost killed. At my lowest point is when me and my daughter's mom were using when my daughter was a baby. And my apartment got raided by the police. Thankfully, I didn't have any drugs on me at the time. So I knew if I kept going, I was going to go to prison for a long time if I did not quit. So I quit and it was the hardest thing I ever did. And I got a job as a, as a server at a restaurant. Not long, after, not long after that, I would wake up early every Sunday morning and watch a TV preacher. And within a year, I started going to church of one of my workmates. And it's the same church that I still go to now. Somewhere in there, I got born again. I didn't have like a, an experience or say the sinner's prayer. It just happened somewhere along the line. But everything changed at that point. All my relations started to be healed. I got good shifts at work and was making good money. I was totally a new person. Like 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, you become a new creation. And as good as that was, what really was my biggest change was on the 4th of July, 2010, I got baptized in the Holy Spirit. The Book of Acts 2-4 experience. That's when I got the fire of God. I went, I went and graduated Bible college ministry training. Not long after that, in 2017, God really promoted me in my professional life. He gave me a sales job with increased income. And in 2019, me and another guy started a Bible study at the company, which is thriving to this day, and we have seen God do many things. And I believe God has much bigger things in store, and he is no respecter of persons. If he did it for me, he'll do it for anyone. Amen. And for him, nothing is impossible. So if you have any friend or family member struggling with addiction, just know we serve a God of hope. Amen. And he is working on digging them out of the pit. And if you yourself struggle with addiction, God can set you free and break the chains of bondage. You just have to let Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Amen. Amen. Salamat, Kalinoan.